Here we are on this first day of October 2019, and we are tracking some heavy rain through the central U.S. Some of this moisture is actually linked to the tropics in the eastern Pacific. We're going to have more of that heavy rain potential from about southeastern New Mexico into upstate New York. Spotty severe weather concerns will be possible as well with some record heat continuing in the southeast. Hurricane Lorenzo continues. Uh, category 2 storm with 100 mile per hour winds. This is again in the north central Atlantic off to the northeast pretty rapidly and could impact parts of western Europe as we approach this upcoming weekend. Other than that, things are fairly quiet in the Atlantic Basin. We're coming off of some significant snowfall in the northwest. In fact, some 48 inch snowfall reports coming out of uh, Browning, Montana. Pretty incredible amounts of snow and historic storm at that. Any additional snowfall that we have should be pretty light. Montana, parts of Wyoming, and also in the northern Cascades as we take you through the next couple of days. That storm again is working off to the east. And out ahead of that, we have some heavy moisture from the tropics leading right up into the upper Midwest. This is also developing the outer periphery of some extensive heat from the Ohio Valley to the Mid-Atlantic states and the southern U.S. Uh, we will talk about, of course, some critical fire weather concerns again today from Utah to Colorado. Red flag warnings there, very warm and breezy. But again, out ahead of that storm system, showers and thunderstorms being focalized here from the central U.S. to uh, parts of uh, the eastern Great Lakes. Better chance of large hail damaging winds and tornadoes in this slight risk area from Kansas over to Wisconsin. Even a, a large hail threat. Damaging winds really looks to be the primary concern that we can rule out an isolated tornado there as well. Some one to three inch rainfall tallies. Flash flood watches here extending all the way down to west Texas and southeastern New Mexico. Again, some pretty decent amounts. But look at how warm it is from the Great Lakes on south. All the numbers you see circled are potential record highs today.